hello, good evening. You join us from the driest county in England, where it's coming bucketing down with rain inside the Gallagher Stadium in Maidstone. But Bath City versus Maidstone United miss rearranged Vanarama National League South clash. I am Joe Atkin, commentating for you this evening. Alongside me is Michael Powell, and Mark Stillman is also with us. We'll take you through the Bath City team first, of course. Ryan Clark, the captain, is in goal. Back three, Dan Bowery, Alex Hartridge, and Dan Ball. The two wing-backs, Joe Reigns and Dan Martin. So the midfield two, most likely of Noah Childers and uh, Frankie Artis with Tom Smith, Sam Pearson and Adam Mann, the front three. What we've been able to gather from Maidstone, they'll likely be lining up in a 4-5-1 as they have been doing more recently. Their goalkeeper is Jake Cole. The back four includes Gavin Hoyt, George Elakobi, who's their captain, Ryan Johnson and Noah Chesman. Across the midfield, Zini Tamelchi is on the left with Andre Buko, Saidu Khan, Ross Marshall and Justin Amaluza. And then Ibi Akambi is up front. The two substitute benches, Connor Riley Low, Ryan Brunt, Harvey Wiles Richards and Jordan Simpson are the options Jerry Gill will have off the bench. Jacob Gilbert, Lewis Knight, Ibrahim Olatade, Sam Ribbon and Ibi Allen are on the bench for Maidstone United. And we are underway in Kent. It's back to Childers, gets out to this near side. His reins plays inside beyond Childers, but it gets out to Hartridge. Mark is looking to just clip it forward into Tom Smith. He's able to flip it on, but man can't get there. Ella Kobe deflects the ball out of play for a Bath City throw and very deep in the Maidstone half. His brother now plays for FC Cincinnati in the MLS, and here is Justin Hoyt as he whips the ball in towards the back post. And it's just put down, it's somehow not gone in. I think it's a handball there. It's been given as a free kick in at the back post there. Amalusa really should have done better. Amalusa to Khan, gives it out to this near side. Here's Chesman looking to play in ball in behind but it's knocked away by Reigns but no one really wants to take it there's Chesmain gets into Amaluza down the side now away from Bowery flushes across goal and if someone was in the middle for Maidstone that was 1-0 Tom Smith once again trying to challenge one of the rather hefty Maidstone United centre-backs will come now for Pearson Reigns has got forward rather quick looks to clip it in towards the back post towards Tom Smith and it's headed away towards the edge of penalty there's Buko gets it on flick back to Chesmain Chesmain in via Canby wants defeat. He's let it roll in behind, and that's a beautiful movement beyond him. Looks to get in behind here through Khan. Khan flashes across the back. It's done by Martin. He's out for a corner kick to Maystone, and once again, Maystone turning that varsity defence into dust. All thrown up the line. There's Martin, who heads it inside to Pearson. Flicks it behind him to Reigns in the centre circle. Looks to get it wide. Pearson chasing after it with Johnson, Johnson hasn't dealt with it particularly well, there's Pearson down the side there, looking to get in, it's a good recovery challenge from the central defender, and it's a corner to Bath City. Loose played in towards the near post, it's gone all the way to the back, and it's gone away from Cole, I think it's blowing in the wind to go anywhere near him, but it's out the back now, he's trying to get away, but well tackled by Akanbi, looked to clip it back inside, but once again, back may so get the block in it. So there are some people who've taken the long drive from Baines to Kent this evening, look to get it in the middle once again, but it's cleared for it. Ibia Canby chases after it with a bit of gusto, and it's smashed forwards by Dan Ball, and once again out for a goal kick to Maidstone. You can see both these sides trying to play the right way, as it were. Speaking of goal mark action, elsewhere in National League South this evening, Oxford City are already in front against Dorking Wanderers. Zach McKechnie scored that one, Joe Wings looks to shoot, and it's just gone over the crossbar, now once again for a goal kick. Bowery clears back once again, Johnson puts his boot straight through the ball, Dan Ball nods it away, he's had a Tomelchi go through him, but nothing doing, the ball's played out to Pearson, I don't think he thought it was gonna get over Johnson, and it did, he does keep it in though, looking to come inside here, into the box, pulls it back to the edge, Adam Mann looks to square it back to Frankie Artis, Frankie Artis looks to shoot, 1-0 Bath City, and it's Frankie Artis that's got it, he scored against Braintree and he scored again now. That's 15 minutes played, Bath City 1, Maidstone 0. Yeah, it took a little bit of a deflection on its way past Jake Cole, but it's brilliant play by Bath City. Spread it out to that right-hand side, Pearson in a bit of space and he uses his head, pulls it back to Mann, he sets it across one more and Artis in quite a bit of space just outside the box. Not a dissimilar position to where we saw Joe Reigns a minute ago and yeah, he's caught it well. I think the deflection 
takes it away from Jake Cole, but it's certainly Frankie Arts' goal in his second of the season. He's seen some sort of a goal-scoring renaissance in 2020. Yeah, they've started to uh, turn the screw, and they're really dominating at the moment, Bar City. Chilvers is a lovely reverse pass to find Tom Smith. His Joe Reigns quick step over and takes it back on Chesmain and looks to come inside. He does find Pearson, who Chilvers looking to run behind. It will come for Chilvers inside the penalty area, but he's well shepherded away by Tamelchi. Can't quite thread his pass through, but Pearson picks it up on the edge of the penalty area, coming out towards his right-hand side. Joe Reigns attempted to do a bit of a drag back it didn't quite work out but gets in at the near post and then it hits off the heel of Adam Mann and bounces up for Bill Kyle and it's back in the hands of Kyle. It's kind of one of the big differences isn't it you look Ella Kobe Hoyt massive experience in that Maidstone back line versus Bath City are a bit younger. It's a bit of a dodgy header there it's come into the back it's picked up by Hartish and that's just about dropped over the top of the course bar to be honest I thought that was in by the way it dropped out the sky and the ball played long Frankie Artis Heads it down, Tom Smith now, back to Artis in the centre circle, we'll look to do a quick high turn, but Bath City have lost possession as no one wanted to really go and get that, but here's a Camby, looks to shoot from distance, but a fairly tame shot is comfortably saved by Ryan Clark. Yeah, Frank Artis taking a little bit of a knock in the look, and he's still down on the ground, the goal scorer, I think the shot took a bit of a nick as well, it looked like Clark was diving past it at one point, almost kind of grabbed it in his midriff, so did well just to keep his eye on it, the Bar City keeper. Chilvers hit the ball behind Martin, Hartridge now getting it forward, Tom Smith trying to get in the game here, coming inside, has to chop away from Hoyt, ball back with Martin, Martin now, Chilvers in down the side of Hoyt, if he can make anything of it, is forced to come back, and will knock it back to Martin, who does look to cross, but the ball's high in towards the back post, Mar Man does get up and win the header, but it was uh, never going to trouble Cole. Melchie gets the ball to Amaluza in down the side of the box, looks to get it across, but it's well cleared by Chilvers, but it comes back to Amaluza, who looked to shoot, but uh, it's gone just about for a goal kick rather than a throw. -in. I think you're right in saying they do have that fluidity, which is making it difficult for Maidstone to defend it. Adam Mann flicks it out towards Tom Smith on that far side, now towards the edge of the penalty area. We can get down the side of Marshall, can't quite get it beyond him as the defender went to ground. It'll be a corner kick to Bar City. Joe Reigns is going to take this one as well, it is short to Chilvers though, who's looking to drink this way and that before it goes back to Joe Reigns, looking to play it in towards the back post, it deflects back and it comes, but it couldn't quite make the most of it, it's hit long, Bar City were only really damn ball back, and the ball's flicked up to this near side to Ippia Canby, Adam Mann did well to put him off, he does reverse that ball to Chesmain, who also stands up very nicely, comes inside Pearson, will just rolls away from Saidu Khan, and he gives away a free kick against Tom Smith, Knocked it back to Reigns. Reigns to Artis. Artis looks to turn. There's Tom Smith. Gives it back to him. Plays it inside. Adam Mann just gets the ball and rolls. And Pearson did leave it. I don't think Tom Swift knew he was going to do that. He has been given his offside anyway. Cold is just uh, analysing his options before rolling it short to Johnson, who looks straight up the line. There's a definite piece of a Canby shirt in Bowery's hands. But the ball's Nodded forwards aren't going really towards either of them. And Kobe gets it across Pearson and plays it up the line. It's over the top now. Ram loser looking to get in there on the side of Dan Ball. So Ronaldo Chop inside the quick shuffle with his feet. Looks to finish, but a beautiful recovery tackle from Dan Ball gives away the corner. Maidstone corner played towards that back post and Marshu not into the ground, but it bobbles wide of Dan Ryan Clark's goal. And Kobe wins the header, the ball's dropping in between him and Buko, and Adam Mann has done really well to win that one. The ball's down the side now with Pearson. Pearson just looking to scramble his way beyond and look to get it across, but Johnson hits it into the sky. And this eluded Marshall, and it's come out towards the edge of the penalty area before it's knocked away to Chesmain. So a lot of players grouping around Ryan Clark, plays in towards the back. Ella Kobe is beaten in the air by Hartridge, but it comes out to Buko, who does look to shoot, but he's hooked it over that stand, and I think it's gone all the way into the car park. I'm a loser, but it's come away, only as far as to Melchie, who's trying to find it. There's a Canby, a Canby to Justin, I'm a loser! He flashes it across at a great hit, but just wide of Ryan Clark's upright. He was getting nowhere near that. Chesmain knocks it short to Hoy, who hooks the ball into the air. Clark should pump on a lot of pressure there by Marshall, but I don't think anyone would drive that one being given as a free kick. 
brief jubilation for Maidstone. Marshall's complaining, saying he jumped up with his arms in the air, which might be true, but he still bundled into the back of the Bath City goalkeepers. Family on the goal gives him a bit of stick. Ronald Clark has a bit of a laugh with him. It was definitely a free kick, there's no doubt about that. Pearson flicks it on behind Johnson, who recovers well to flick forward, and they're trying to get in a Camby down the side. Barry couldn't quite bring it under his spell. A Camby in the corner now, with the dart beyond and flash that ball across towards the edge of penalty. Here it comes back for Khan. He fake shots and looks to shoot, but it's a great block from Dan Bowery to keep the score at 1 0. Yeah, just inexperienced that as much as Barry to start with. There's a ball down the left hand side. He tries to control it and be clever. He's 30 seconds from half time. Just booted out for a throw in. There's no need to take the risk. That's what the chance all came from. And Mars said to the credit people throw in their bodies in front of it to block the shot. But once again that was you, you feel like Mason's best moment have actually been somewhat self-inflicted from the Romans but on the whole it's been a very good 45 minutes that is all for the first 45 minutes here in Kent Bath City lead Maidstone United by a goal to nil that being a great strike by Frankie Artis Maidstone have certainly had their chances but I think Bath City for the most part have been on top Hoyt's going to take this corner they took most of the set pieces in the first half as well Gets it towards that near post, and in the end it comes off the head of Elokobi, and it goes around six or seven yards wide of Ryan Clark's post. Ross Marshall on halfway, chips over the top. It's headed back inside from Amaluza. It's good move this one. Mesa has a shot on the turn, and good save in the end from Clark. It was a candy who managed to wrap his foot around it, and Clark had to be alert. A candy did well to get a shot away at all. Yeah, similar patterns at first off Maidstone have come out the traps well in his opening few minutes and really good strength from McCambi because it didn't look like he could get a shot away. Don Ball heads it back forward, she always uses that midfield. Maidstone really pumped up at the start of this second half. We're not making on a loser. And then the break again with a Camby who's trying to hold up by a rematch. Just a drill it across and he's missed in the middle. And there's a good chance as well for Hoyt. It's not for what he was doing in there. Not the best player, clearly, to be in that situation. Maidstone have made all early running in the second half. Cross comes back in. It's important header away this time from Partridge. City largely penned back and they get it clear all the way back up the other end. But Maidstone have been really good in these first few minutes of the second half. Under pressure from Bayri, trying to turn away from him and in the end he loses possession. City can try and break that with man inside his own half and he's found a willing run in Martin down the left hand side. Hoyt's coming back with him. Still going Martin, turns away. And Keeps over the ball, inside to Smith now, 25 yards out. Now Chilvers, this is inviting on the edge of the box. Chilvers shoots and shoots over the bar from round 30 yards or so. No, Chilvers hasn't scored since November and he's no closer to ending the try there. Hartridge helps it away. Chilvers can't get much distance on it. So as far as Khan. Now Chesmain on the left-hand side, trying to trick his way inside. He's bulldozing his way through almost. It's with a Camby now, turning away from... Trouble City have got to be dangerous here, and in the end it's just over the bar. It was Khan who was in there, but sustained pressure from Maidstone nearly paid off. Again, it's just Man City just needing to stay switched on, and that's where the problems are coming from. It's just there's one or two moments of lapses. There's Smith, though, at the other end. There's a bit of a lapse from Maidstone. He's got no support, Smith. He might have to go alone. He does, and he shoots straight at Jake Cole with a difficult angle. I don't think Smith really had any other options. Johnson on the left-hand side, holding off Pearson for the time being. Manages to find I'm a loser. He's got it back on the loser off Chess Main, and that's a cynical lunge from Ball. I think the receiver the match's first caution and from 20 yards out on the slight angle. Calls of off. It won't be off, it should be a yellow card. Yeah, Dan Wall thought he could nick in and get the ball off I'm a loser, and he was just beaten for pace in truth. They need to win. If they lose today, you'd almost say playoffs are. They're not over, but they're certainly a long trip. They get very difficult for them. Dawkins losing might give them a hand, but certainly like to buy City will be out of reach. Smith now, 30 yards out. He's got Chilvers to his right. Smith shoots, it's blocked. And Mason keen to get on with it quickly. Chesmain again. Sends in a flighted ball towards the head of Amaluza. And in the end, it bypasses him and comes last off Gavin Hoyt and goes behind for a goal kick. Byrie wins a header. And um, looked like Han Ball in the middle of the film. It was picked up from Chesmain, central, over to Hoyt over on the right hand side. Got Allen up in front of him. Next to use Allen, who's tripped out Hartridge now, getting the ball to the byline. And it's a really crunching challenge of Dan Ball. He had to time that right, and he did. He's gone behind for a corner. That was risky from Dan Ball. Inside the box in the penalty area, 
he took absolutely everything man and ball, but when you go slide in, your heart's always slightly in your mouth. Thankfully, he timed it to perfection. Elikobi on halfway. Maidstone had to go back to come forward. They're trying to with Amaluza now, 25 yards out, trying to make space for a shot. He does, he nearly catches out Ryan Clark. I think it might come off the inside of the post, actually. And it's come out, but that was out of nothing, and City through the side of the roof. Yeah, he must have taken a deflection on the way through. Ron footed Ryan Clark, and well, I agree, not the best angle. It looked like it came back off the post. Here's Allen now breaking into the box, and down in the time, right on the edge of the penalty area. They're saying it's in, and I think they might have a case. They're crowding around the referee and the assistant. It was very, very close, is what I would say. And I wonder whether the referee will want to have a word with his assistant. And it's getting all very touchy over there on the right side. Let's have a look, it's laid off. Chesme now, oh, what a challenge that is. They've made a complete hash of it. Artis wins it back in City can try and break with Pearson. They're going to be riled even further with those supporters because how they didn't get a clear strike on goal there. It's terrific defending from Bar City, but in truth, that was poor from Maidstone. The yeah, Artis did so well because actually, originally it looked like they worked it quite well because he took his time. Chesme, then uh, to a touchdown and rolled it across for Chesme. It looked like they created a good angle, and after that, no, we just got a foot and did really well. And Buka now, Hoyt, Buka again, but there was no shout for Khan in the middle, and he's lost possession. There's Martin, he's got such fit legs as he, the youngster. He skipped away from Allen now, getting towards Bailey. He's brought it back to Chilvers, he's blocked off. Man's on the edge, instead, he finds Pearson. Pearson can't get a strike away. It's now Man City re adding on the pressure. Man shoots, it's saved, it's out. Oh, it's in, no, it's not. It's Tom Smith, I thought he was offside, and it came straight back out to him. It's good reflexes on the keeper. Tom Smith couldn't really do much more than he did, and a good chance for City to extend their lead goes begging. Just said how they need to be clinical, and they haven't been. They work it so well down this left-hand side. Martin does brilliantly. They pick out a couple of right passes. Man, firstly, the shot's the wrong option because he's got an overload right and overload left, and then when it bounces back out, yeah, Smith just can't basically rearrange himself to get a clean strike on goal because he's in so much space onside and just pats it back to Cole. Hoyt's going to take this corner. Maidstone has had plenty of practice this evening. Towards the six yard box, important head away from Adam Man. It only finds Allen on the edge of the box, urge to shoot, and it goes through a pile of bodies and behind him. He's only made 10 yards wide. He couldn't get through that sea of purple, and City will restart with a goal kick as Ryan Clark has a few words to his defence. Once again, though, it's Ryan Clark's gone in the uh, book for time wasting. I think he was understandably his captain on the go and defuse his players on that one. Allen finds Khan again, now Chesme, who's got room on the left-hand side, Reigns is coming across to block him, back to Allen, the substitute, near the edge of the penalty area, floats into the box, important head away from Ball, and nobody's there to react to the loose ball, apart from, yet again, Adam Mann, it's picked up from Martin there, down the left-hand side, Pearson's trying to hold his line to stay on side, but Martin's just going to keep running and running and running as he's done all evening. He's played inside of Pearson, who's turned away in trouble. Smith's in, Rune to the right, he must find Smith. Pearson's going to go alone, Pearson must score, Pearson does score, and he wraps up the three points of our city. Again, it took a deflection, but the patience of Sam Pearson and the excellent build-up play means that Bar City will making, be making the long journey home joyous because on 93 minutes is Maidstone nil, Bar City to get in. Brilliant breakaway goal. Dan Martin does so well down the left-hand side. He shows patience originally, feeds it into Pearson. Ella Kobe thinks he's going to go just for the corner flag. He just sells him down, he cuts inside. It looked for the world like he needed to play in Tom Smith, but as I said, showed composure, kept going. Yes, it took a deflection on his way through, but it's a well-taken goal by Sam Pearson. Bar City with a vital three points and you have to say a deserved three point it's been a class A away performance from the Romans there's only seconds left City lead by two goals to nil as Hartridge gets a toe in now Chilvers Artis on halfway the man who got the ball rolling and that's the end of this fixture at the Gallagher Stadium you can hear a few boos from the home fans it's only their third home defeat of the season it's Bar City's third successive away clean sheet 
goals from Frankie Artis on 16 minutes. It took a deflection off Andre Buka, and then they wrapped it up at the perfect time. Five minutes in the stoppage, uh, sorry, a couple of minutes in the stoppage time where Sam Pearson decided to go it alone. It took a deflection over the grinded Jake Cole and looped over him for a 2-0 victory. And although Bassi didn't create the most amount of chances you're ever going to see in a game, I thought they played jolly well tonight and were well worthy of those three points. Yeah, I completely agree, Mark. I think you've summed it up really well. They, they, they were the better team, and as I said just after that goal, it was a very good away performance. They weathered a two- or three-minute storm to start with, got back on top, got the goal, which is what you've got to do when you're on top, played out the rest of the first half on top, and in that second half, they basically said, we've got the one-goal lead, come and break us down if you can, Maidstone, and quite simply, the Stones couldn't, and obviously just that nice finishing gloss at the end with Sam Pearson putting the finishing touches on it, but certainly a deserved three points. I think it's a, one of Bar City's probably best away performances just in terms of the way they controlled this game this evening. The way they controlled a game after, what, a 300-mile round trip, we got here around an hour or so before kick-off. Maidstone are a full-time outfit, so they would have had time to go over Saturday's loss against Chippenham. This is two games in a row where they failed to score. They don't suffer back-to-back defeats too often either, but Bar City got the better of them, and they're going to applaud their 30 or 40 or so fans who have made some great noise tonight as well, and they've been rewarded for their efforts. Thank you very much, Michael, for your summarising duties this evening. I'm with Joe Atkins, took over in the first half, and we taking it through to a rest to uh, watch Bar City still success here at the Gallagher Stadium. And in the end, the Stones crumbled and City held out. They were resilient, they were good, they were impressive, and they deserved all three points tonight here. We'll be back on Saturday when we take on Dulwich, Hamlet, and here in Kent, it's finished Maidstone 0, Bar City 2. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>